Hello, my name's Leslie Kelly and I'm going to be reading from my new novel, Murder at the Music Factory. The bit of the novel I'm going to be reading starts off with there's been a bomb threat made against uh, the Scottish Parliament. So this is the main character, Bernard, asking more about it. Is that another bomb, Mr Stuttle? The caller didn't specify. And as we know from your spate of calls to the head, there is likely to be hoaxes as real. Well, at least you've got everyone out of the way. Bernard and Patterson looked round at the dispersing crowds. We haven't. The MSPs are still in there. What? There was a collective dropping of jaws. Why? Because if it is Bryce's work, we can't be sure that this isn't all part of his plan. Get all the MSPs out in the open so he can take a pop at them. We can't use any of the usual emergency plans because Bryce is a former... He stopped, suddenly mindful of the level of security clearance of his audience because Bryce has prior knowledge of them. He knows all the ways we're likely to respond to this kind of threat and he could use that to his advantage. But if he has actually planted a bomb in there, they get blown sky high. Whatever we do has the potential to go very wrong. So what are you doing? We're moving them out four at a time, straight into armoured vehicles. The army's overseeing that bit. Sir, a police officer bounded up to Stuttle. Message for you. He handed over a folded sheet of paper. What now? Stuttle read the note and his face contorted. Carlotta Carmichael, our beloved Cabinet Secretary for Virus Policy, is demanding a meeting with me immediately on the walkway leading to Dynamic Earth. Is she insane? Does she not realise we're under threat at the moment? She's going to get herself shot. She is insane, said Patterson, starting to run. We all know that. Come on. Bernard ran after his colleagues, happy at least that they were moving away from the building. Although he couldn't help feeling this was not an ideal place to request a meeting. The concrete pathway ran along the side of the Parliament building and apart from a low wall was otherwise open to the other side to parkland that led up to Arthur's seat, Edinburgh's famous extinct volcano. If Bernard wanted to isolate someone and take a pot shot at them, this is more or less exactly what he'd look for. Carlotta appeared, the domed roof of Dynamic Earth Museum looming on her left. She was accompanied by the very tall figure of her secretary, Paul Shore. Bernard had met him a couple of times and had found him to be one of the more pleasant people working in the world of politics. Or maybe that was just the way he seemed relative to his boss. Both of them were looking around at their surroundings as they hurried along, Paul with a protective hand on his boss's back. She stopped directly in front of them. Minister, began Stuttle. I can't believe this is your idea of a safe area, Cameron. She pulled her coat collar up to her face as if it would provide her with some protection. Safe area? Stuttle frowned. I never said that. Yes, she did, said Paul. He waved a sheet of paper. We got your note telling us this was a designated safe area. You said to get here as quickly as possible. Shit. Stuttle looked round. We need to get you out of here. I don't understand what's happening, said Carlotta. Cameron? Patterson shouted as a police marksman appeared at the top of the steps to Dynamic Earth. Over there! Well, Stuttle and Patterson threw themselves in the direction of Carlotta Carmichael. Bernard looked at Paul, who appeared as confused as he did. A thought went through his head that he should probably get down behind the wall, but he couldn't get his legs to move. His eyes swiveled back to the marksman. His gun was raised and pointing in their direction. A shot rang out and he heard Carlotta scream out Paul's name. Bernard found himself sprawling on the ground as the body of Paul Shore toppled onto him, a stream of blood pooling around them on the concrete. He lay back and waited to see if he too was going to die.